Hello everyone, welcome to the daily analysis video. So today we had uh, both Fin Nifty and Bank Nifty expiry. So I hope it all went good for you all. So uh, yeah, let's discuss one by one the data points. So very first thing is that if eyes are selling for past few days, so one of the reasons uh, could be this Mauritius uh, uh, tax treaty. Uh, so many people are like uh, opening accounts there who have uh, big money. So uh, to uh, I mean uh, to get rid of the tax system. So you can read uh, this article here, which has been posted today. So uh, I'll I'll share the link uh, in the description below. So yes, now coming to our data point. So first of all, like on the charts, everything worked out fine. Uh, now to talking about today's trade. So twenty one thousand one hundred CE Nifty bought at sixty two. So I saw these big uh, buyers, uh, these option buyers, with, uh, those who are present in Fin Nifty. Uh, so they bought it at almost like uh, 65 okay so I bought it at uh, 62 so price went to almost 58 when they were also again buying okay so uh, bought it at 62 note down the time 10.30 so 10.30 if you look at here so 10.30 am uh, here so this is the uh, this is the candle from 10.25 uh, uh, to 10.30 okay so now the thing is that yes just I mean the last uh, I mean the first starting candle we bought and then Fin Nifty went up it went up more than like the price went up more than 80 so it went up to 85 to 86 uh, but I closed it at 71 because I'll show you and also uh, yes and also uh, I, I uh, yes I shorted 21,100 PE at 71 and closed it at 57 so it, uh, I mean it also gave a nice profit so anyways why I closed here I mentioned it also on Twitter so if you look at here uh, so uh, those members who have access to the money flow so they could also see that bank nifty indicator so there was this gap widening up okay so this divergence was getting formed and even if you note the time of this tweet 11:29 a.m. the divergence was forming bearish divergence I clearly mentioned and after that uh, like uh, bank nifty did fall okay so if you look at here so during this time i mentioned and uh, after this also like bank nifty fell almost uh, by all more than 100 points okay so uh, that's the thing that is uh, that i and i also said i did not say a very big divergence i clearly mentioned a small bearish divergence is forming okay and that's the reason i closed uh, my trades during that time the fin nifty long trades but uh, those big guys who went long they again took fin nifty up and that price went more than 100 okay so uh, you can see so today uh, the big guys the big option uh, players were uh, in fin nifty they were present at 20 uh, 21 okay so uh, sorry 20 uh, uh, 21000 c and also somewhere present at 2100 but uh, I I preferred uh, at uh, in the money okay so 21,000 and uh, now talking about uh, uh, the main uh, on the chart so yesterday as I mentioned that uh, this level 22,220 so uh, nifty went up and got resistance exactly at there and then finally again came down so if you look at our nifty indicators so uh, this if you look at here so nifty was uh, going up but uh, I mean the our our score was not going up okay so our score was uh, like uh, almost if you look at here also the score was a, I mean clearly showed that we are going down okay so and finally uh, when did this fall start so the fall started like almost you can pick up at 1140 or 1145 so even if you look at before the score clearly mentioned that we are bearish okay so in the morning they uh, when nifty was going up the score was bearish and even after that also the score was bearish and finally the fall came and uh, so uh, now talking about bank nifty so bank nifty this small bearish divergence I note I notified you all and then again after this there was this uh, bullish divergence which was forming uh, our uh, money flow was a, the score was increasing but uh, bank nifty was giving some dips and finally again bank nifty went up so uh, everything worked out even for bank nifty also if you look at when I took the trade uh, the note down the time 10 30 so 10 30 a.m. bank nifty here was also taking like 47,436 this level was mentioned yesterday it was uh, bank nifty was also taking support there so 
everything was uh, going in the correct direction and bank nifty also helped fin nifty to go up and we got our trade of the day so anyways uh, if you want such analysis you can be a part of the derivatives indicator group and also uh, uh, i mean i have extended this uh, discount offer so uh, sorry this one so i have dis uh, extended this discount offer so it will be valid uh, uh, till tomorrow so if you want to be a part of the derivatives indicator group so you can be where you get access to the money flow indicators and uh, also uh, and this indicator is a leading indicator so i have shown you this several times uh, on twitter by posting on twitter before the move came i showed you how to uh, predict it and also you get a uh, complimentary access to this uh, telegram channel and again this is the same telegram channel guys so if you look at here yesterday also uh, we got today we got uh, oh, just if i consider the option buying 25% almost and here uh, yesterday also almost 15% so if you just consider these two days uh, uh, 40% okay so 1 lakh becomes 1 lakh 40000 and if you even consider this last friday as well so that almost like uh, yeah we uh, if you see bought at 115 and closed at 148 so again uh, that's also near about 30 percent so anyways now let's move ahead and uh, and also no, no none of these messages are deleted or anything so uh, if you think they are fake fine uh, uh, you just follow the twitter messages i post and uh, i think and the analysis i post if they are working then they are not fake of course and anyways uh, coming down to the eod data so eod data is suggesting that uh, I mean, if I see the, the, I mean, the big institution, what happens is that it's not about they are bullish or bearish. So once their stop loss gets hit, so uh, trades get auto closed. Okay, so uh, like uh, even those who uh, like trade at uh, prop decks or uh, uh, the big prop decks or whatever, if you are doing a job there, so you must be knowing that like you have to create algos uh, which you have. They will be punching orders and. They, uh, there will be some predefined losses okay so that's why i think like uh, the fi is uh, their uh, stop losses are getting hit in the futures long positions and those are getting closed and they are making short positions in the futures now and overall if you look at here that is they have wiped out their complete positions like in the option the uh, prop decks and the fi's because uh, t uh, tomorrow is a holiday and anything can happen because uh, like uh, Israel is not uh, stopping I think they are they want to like uh, give a reply and uh, so anything can happen and so that's why like they have wiped out their complete uh, option chain position so you can't decide anything from now but uh, from here but overall if you still look at what are the positions so still call writing more call writing positions are there and uh, that's the view so overall it's a slight bearish data and uh, also uh, like uh, FIIs and prop decks they are like uh, recently going bearish but again we should be like uh, very careful and uh, we should be very careful near about like if if 22,053 uh, bre breaks then the major level would be at 21,840 the last time also this happened if it doesn't break then that would be the stop uh, and we are not breaking 22,000 okay so again there would wouldn't be any final verdict because the big guys have wiped out their positions and uh, so there would won't be any final verdict but yesterday if you saw my final verdict i said that i would look for sell on rise opportunity and i clearly mentioned in nifty 22220 and it got resistance there and it came down so it was a perfect sell on rise there with the levels and uh, so as you saw that in so suppose if you have noted the uh, this level on your chart okay by uh, you have seen my analysis you have noted this chart so now you see that for a long time nifty is getting resistance so easily you can go for a sell on rise and suppose you uh, keep a 30 percent or the this day is low last day is low you can keep it as a stop loss or a 30 percent up you can keep it as a stop loss and continue and it i mean it perfectly worked out there okay so perfectly got resistance there and came down so uh yes so this is what you have to like uh, no one knows from where uh this nifty will come down or go, will go up so you have to go with the levels and you can keep a certain uh points 30 points or 50 point stop loss okay so that's how you should trade so anyways uh, uh like uh, again 
that's my overall analysis so if you liked my analysis don't forget to put a like and if you want to be a member so don't forget to uh, take the advantage of the discount offer and uh, thanks for watching and keep watching and keep learning and trade safely see you in the next one